Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new combat achievement video. This is for an elite combat achievement. This one's titled Crystalline Warrior. So Crystalline Warrior is an elite combat achievement which requires a player to kill the Crystalline Hunlift with a full set of perfected armor equipped. So it has to be perfected armor for this one. So just going over the plugins, you want this plugin here called the Gauntlet, uh, which can be found in your plugin hub. If you type in the Gauntlet uh, through Rdata, all in one plugin for the Gauntlet 1.6. So we've got this one. I'll show you what it does um, with the settings of it. So we've just got it on default settings here. Um, so we've got it um, enabled. So when we go into the Gauntlet, I'll show you what uh, we'll will come up and how it looks different on the user interface. So you can see here the resources appear in the top left corner. This is the guide you'll need for everything. So this is for a smooth run basically, which is really helpful. And it comes up with the um, colored tiles of the resources, which is super helpful, which are different colors. And also when you get to the uh, crystalline Hunliff, it will also help out during the fight. It will show the square of the Hunliff and that's really useful for not walking into that so it doesn't, uh, you don't walk under it and it get mallied uh, with the stomp attack. So yeah, that's basically the plugin. So just taking a look at where we are on the mini map and this is how to get there to the gauntlet. So we're currently in Perfinus and we are at the most northern bank. You also could get there from the house portal. So you'll need to have completed Songs of the Elves quest to have access to this area and you can teleport to Prif and then run north from the house portal to the gauntlet. Otherwise, if you're already at the bank, you can just run northwest past the sand pit and the altar and then head a bit around that pathing to the gauntlet. So I'm gonna show you the route now with running it. It's very close, closer than you think with in regards to the minimap. So if we run through the sand pit and altar, and head just a little bit south here to the gauntlet enter gauntlet portal so you enter there and it'll send you to the gauntlet lobby and then you can enter the gauntlet or enter corrupted gauntlet so that's pretty much it all right so make your way into the gauntlet gonna start counterclockwise or clockwise as usual uh, so we got the um, low level mobs in this room to get the first weapon frame so make sure we get this obviously we'll need a fair lot of shards for this one so to be 760 I think because we'll need the perfected armor set and the perfected staff and the attuned bow so we've got our weapon frame here that's dropped so make sure you pick that up quickly, pick up the crystal shards, you need about 80 I think for the attuned staff that we want. Also got two uh, grim leaves in here, grim roots, so we'll get the leaves from them. So I should have actually picked the first one and then run uh, east, but anyway. So now I've got the 91 shards, going to make the attuned staff, so we got that now. Made one vial, we'll fill the water up with that and get the herb in there because you never know, we might need the stamina. So we got the ores in this room. The unicorns in that room, which we probably, you will need um, to kill some of these because we're gonna need a lot of uh, shards for this one, having the full perfected crystal armor set. So attack both of the um, high level mobs. Hopefully you have some of these in the room, otherwise you might need to find them when you're hunting the um, mini bosses on the outskirts. Got another teleport crystal, so that's handy. And also we found our first uh, demi boss mini boss, which is the dragon. So start attacking that. And this will be able to make our crystal staff perfected when it drops the orb. So this is actually really handy if you find the boss on your first uh, outer room. It's very rare, but um, it's great when it happens because especially for this task, it does take a bit more time to make the armor set. So it's really handy if this does happen and especially for the corrupted, uh, corrupted achievement as well. So that's down now. Um, so take your protect from magic off grab the orbs, weapon frame, and the shards. And we're now going to 
use these outer uh, rooms to get some more shards and resources. So pick another grim leaf here. So still lighting the nodes as we go and attacking these. So we need, we'll need to get onto it uh, quickly to get the resources. Um, so you'll need 13 of each of these uh, resources. So the linum tyrinum, you'll need 13. The uh, crystal walls, you'll need 13. And the friend bark, you'll need 13. And that's to create the perfected set. So we've got a lot of um, linum tyrinum in this room. So we'll be able to get all these. And with the food guide for this, with the paddlefish, we'll only be using uh, 12 food. So we will have eight left over in the guide, which is in the top left corner that you can see using the gauntlet plugin. So with the perfected armor, you take much less damage, especially if you do the uh, corrupted hun lift properly, because if you don't make any mistakes, you're only really taking damage off the um, chip damage, which is when you're praying correctly and you see the it hits you maybe for th anywhere from three to about 10, uh, 10 being very rare but usually it's about anywhere from three to about six so teleporting back now because we've got a full inventory so you want to drop this near the singing bowl because this is where we'll make the perfected armor when we're ready as you can see it's a lot of resources that we need so i'm dropping them into uh, piles here and i'm going to make the perfected uh, staff while we're here and the attuned bow so we got the weapons sorted now so that's awesome so we only really need to worry about the bark resources and the ore and the paddlefish, which will be 12 paddlefish. Keep an eye out on the timer because you have, uh, at this stage, we've got five minutes. So if you've only got pretty much a quarter left to do and you've got five minutes left, it means you've got, you're doing really well for time. But say if you're at this stage at about three minutes or even two minutes, you might want to reconsider trying again because it might just be pushing it a little bit um, too close for the time to get the perfected armor um, and the and the fish cooked in time and also the potions made so yeah just might want to keep that in mind so we're getting more crystal shards here so this should be pretty much enough i think for what we need and remember you will get crystal shards from collecting resources sometimes as well which is super handy so as you can see we've got 19 crystal shards from uh, just fishing out of that fishing pool uh, so this fishing spot we might get some more and if you do come across a little um, the M the mobs like you see here do take them out because it only takes like a split second and they will drop shards which is handy so we've got the last pool here and I think this will be our last pool. I don't think we're using any more food other than this. So this will be it. You'll see eight left over. Um, it's just because we will need to get all these resources down in time. And as I was saying earlier, you won't need as much food to complete this. So we're getting another friend tree here. Awesome. So we got this. So we're going to drop all the paddlefish near the stove. And we'll also have the... Uh, friend bark to drop near the singing crystal bowl so just do that here so dropping all the paddle fish as you can see that will be ready uh, to cook later you can also see we have the two herbs so we'll need to end up making uh, vials and filling those up to um, make those igneal potions so making the first bit of basic armor here and obviously now with the full basic set, we need to turn that from uh, basic to attuned and then attuned to um, perfected. So we definitely should have enough uh, crystal shards now. So just getting the last lot of the resources and it will just be a matter of you finding the room. So from here, you can go pretty much anywhere you like to get the resources. There's no really... Um, you know, it's probably a decent way of doing it, but if you got this much time left on the clock, you only really have to find um, two other types of resources we're trying to nail down here. So you can see this is cool because we have the mining room here. So we got the ores, crystal deposits. 
So we're getting these. And then I'm pretty sure we have what we need once we've done this room. Might have to come back here. So running back, so that's handy because it's right close to the base there with the resources. So I got a pretty, pretty, pretty lucky this run actually. So picking up some of this so we can uh, make another piece as you see to attune. So we've got the attuned helm and the attuned plate body. Making the attuned plate legs. And now we're going to make our perfect, start making our perfected set which is, is, is cool. So the crystal helm perfected. Next will be the body. So two, and then we'll need one more for the legs, I think. Yep, so perfected body. Now we just need another lot for the legs. So I'm just cooking this first, just so we have the paddlefish that we need. Got the vials. So I'm going to fill them up. Yep, making those into potions. So crushing the dust, making that uh, into the igneal potions. So we have three of those. So we got that. We can drop all this stuff. Now I've got to just mine the last uh, resource, which is a crystal deposit. Just got to find another one here quickly because we will require uh, two ores. So as you can see, this is where it really comes down to the wire bit because I didn't really manage it properly with the resources. But luckily for me, I found a, a room here with the crystal deposit. So I get the last lot. I didn't need three, but anyway. So here we go. This will be enough, just the two last ones for the perfected legs. So get them. And we can drop the other crap, but I think I'm pressed for time here. So you can drop if you have time, but otherwise just cook all the food that you have and go in with the uh, potions. So the time's going down now, so quick pass in with Protect from Range and Rigor activated. Starting the Crystal Line Hunler fight. So as you'll be aware if you watch my other guides, um, it does attack with four... Uh, starts with four range attacks and then does a noise and an animation and then it changes to four magic attacks. It also um, consists of the floor changing which will damage you when it turns orange. So blue to orange as you can see. And it will also um, have a, uh, two special attacks. Um, this tornado that is just um, used here. And then it will also have a special magic attack that deactivates your magic attack. So it's going to come up in this slot, hopefully, so we can see this happen. Yep, that one there. So make sure you reactivate it. It's a bit like Warcath's uh, mag special magic attack, the purple flame one. So yeah, it just deactivates your magic attack. So just get it on quickly. Also, um, you don't really have to worry about its stomp attack, which is a typeless one, because um, see the melee square there with the gauntlet plug-in? It's a guide to not walk in that space, so you de generally don't go anywhere near it. So if you do all this, uh, you can run through those tornadoes there. Make sure you apply the correct prayer back once it does that. And make sure you run the corners, don't go into the square, because it can hit pretty hard with its stomp attack. So it's pretty easy, you won't take much damage with the perfected armor as you can see here. It does do a little bit of chip damage, but apart from that, it will pre um do pretty well against the chip damage and it won't be hitting as much uh, so it's really really cool you won't probably even need the food that I've got in this because I'll have some food left over so I'll just let you watch it from uh, till we defeat it so it's pretty easy from here on out
Coming down to the end here, so one more attack and I think he's down. Awesome, congratulations, you just completed Crystalline Warrior, nice work. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe for more videos from me. I'm making combat guides, uh, just basic guides and all OSRS content, I've got some fun ideas, I'm all about the community. I don't make any money from this channel at this point in time and I'm just growing the subscriber base and having fun and I'm really enjoying it and appreciate all the support. So for the OSRS community, if you're out there, please uh, like, comment, subscribe my videos and also give my sponsor OSRS a follow on Twitter. I'm building that up and I hope you all have a fantastic day and week. Stay safe out there and hope you get those XP grinds. All right, and pet drops. See ya.